Hey everyone, Astro Kit here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about your moon sign. And if you guys didn't already know, your moon sign is really one of the most important parts in your birth chart. Um, your moon sign is really your inner emotions. It's the side of you a lot of people might not see. And your moon sign really shows you how you think, how you react. Um, it's really like your inner world. So in this video, I'm just going to explain how that applies to your moon sign. So if you guys want to find out the traits and characteristics of your moon sign, keep on watching. And I also have a website where I post blog posts about each topic I talk about on my channel. So if you guys want to read a hard copy, I do have a post on my blog site already. It is called theastrokit.com. And then also on my website, I have my services. So I do do natal chart readings um, and I do a bunch of other services. So if you guys want a natal chart reading, um, go ahead and click the link down below. But for now, let's just get into the video. Okay, so let's talk about moon in Scorpio. Okay, so really quickly, just to recap, your moon sign is really three main things. So it's one, your emotions, obviously, two, how you react to things, and three, your overall mental state and your mental process. So with Scorpio Moon, you do take on a lot of Scorpio traits, but one of the main ones I will say that really shows in your moon sign is the sense of power, the sense of control. With Scorpio energy, Scorpio likes to be in control. Um, Scorpio energy likes to be in power or achieve power in some way. So when you have a Scorpio Moon, you really want to be in control of your emotions. You want to be in control. You want to have power over your emotions. So given that, you're not the type of person to really reveal all of your emotions. You can be very secretive about your emotions because naturally Scorpio energy is very kind of secretive. And given that you really want to maintain that power over your emotions, you're not going to just let anyone manipulate you. Like if anything, Scorpio moons are manipulating other people, but you're really not the type to be super emotionally sensitive. Like you know how to really navigate your emotions. You know how to put them in check. You're not the type of person to be easily hurt by a bunch of stuff. Like you could be a sensitive person, but but like I said, in order to maintain that control over your emotions, you have to be kind of level-headed about it. You have to discern what you let bother you and what you let don't. So given that, I feel like the way you react to things, it's almost like, um, I feel like in your head you're kind of like, okay, how does this um, maintain my power? How does this maintain my control? Like, And with your Scorpio moon, you're naturally very intense and very passionate, but you're not dramatic. So it's not like a Leo moon where you have these dramatic displays of emotion, um, but the way you react emotionally, it might be, mm, it might be kind of drastic, but it's not um, exaggerated if that makes sense. So for example, I feel like a very cliche Scorpio moon reaction to something is like, if something happens, I feel like your emotional reaction to it is like, you might think, how can I get revenge? Or how can I subtly make this work in my favor? Because the thing is you work in secret. You don't, you're not out here just displaying all of your moves. You're kind of like, okay, how can I make this work for me, but on the low? So really you're the type of person, you're not gonna have a huge emotional outburst about something. Like you're gonna be quiet, you're gonna be subtle, you're gonna read your cards, um, and then deal what you think is best for you. And then something I will say about Scorpio moons and your overall mental state and mental process is naturally you can be kind of pessimistic, you can be paranoid, and overall you can be a very suspicious person. Like the way you mentally process things or react to things, you're sort of like, okay, is this, you know, you're always, you're always looking at something with like a side eye, you know what I mean? You're kind of suspicious of it, you might be paranoid about it, um, or you might be pessimistic about it. You're kind of like, mm, that's not real, like that's bullshit, like, you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't say this moon sign is very optimistic, and honestly that's just the truth. Like you could be an optimistic Scorpio moon, but, but I feel like naturally you just kind of lean more towards maybe pessimism or paranoia. But I will say that a high functioning Scorpio moon is someone who, you know, you do have that natural healthy paranoia. You don't have like that fearful paranoia. Like it's good to have a, a good amount of like suspicion, but um, having too much of it is obviously detrimental to your mental health. And then I kind of touched on this earlier, but you naturally are very passionate and very intense. So I feel like when you're with a partner or you're with uh, romantic interests, you naturally have a lot of emotional power. Like you're almost magnetic and hypnotizing to someone else. So given that, you can, you kind of have the upper hand when it comes to manipulation and you know that. So it's kind of something that it's, if you use it for bad, it's obviously a bad thing, but you can use it for good or you can be a high functioning Scorpio moon where it's like, okay, I have this power of manipulation, but I'm not going to use it in a um, non-productive way. Overall, this moon placement is very, very powerful. Um, it's not the most comfortable place for the moon to be in. Like the moon doesn't really want to be 
associated with Pluto. Like the moon and Pluto do not go together at all. But I will say that this placement gives you a lot of personal power, a lot of emotional power. But overall you have this intensity about you. You have this passion about you. Like you're not a very surface level person. You're very, like especially when it comes to your emotions, you're not a surface level person. You're a very, you know, you feel in depth, you feel intense, you feel passionate. Like you're the type of person to really do away with like frivolous emotions. Like you want the depth, you want the intensity. And honestly, you're not afraid to embrace it. And then I feel like this video is getting so long, but basically I feel like another main thing about Scorpio moons that you might have really transformative emotional experiences. So if you think about it, Scorpio, Pluto rules transformation. So you might have experiences that change your emotions in a very drastic way. Like you can kind of seem very even tempered but then go through something that just changes your whole emotional um, outlook or emotional state. So yeah, overall this moon sign is very intense, it's very powerful, um, and you can use really use your power for good. And I feel like one of the best traits you have is that you're very passionate, you're very intense, um, you're not afraid of those dark emotions, you're not afraid of emotions people run away from. And you're also very loyal and very intelligent. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Go ahead and comment down below your moon sign and if you resonated with this video. And don't forget to visit my website. It is called theastrokit.com. And if you guys want a reading with me, you can go ahead and book it through my email. And my email is linked down below as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.